GroupMe is a simple yet robust messaging application with a balance of features that make it perfect for college students. It's one of the few messaging platforms that hasn't tried to weasel itself into a social media platform. In many ways, GroupMe's success has come from what it is not more than what it is. GroupMe has no usernames, no stories, no friends, no group voice calls, no ridiculous emojis, or any other gimmicky bloat that even iMessage developers let slip through to the final product. I think the two most important not features are, one, GroupMe is not that serious, and two, GroupMe is not meant to be anonymous. This makes it great for communication amongst people who need to communicate effectively while maintaining a degree of distance. A common example of this situation is college students taking classes where collaboration is important, but you're not trying to make friends. Yeah, I'll work on chemistry homework with Bob, but I don't want to see his takes on immigration policy. And I'm sure Alice would love to share her SI packet with me, but I don't think she wants to share her exact location on a map with me. GroupMe is essentially the business casual of messaging applications. But here's the thing. GroupMe was not meant to replace a classroom. None of this technology currently being relied upon to educate people was ever intended to completely replace the experience of a classroom. But the way the cookie's been crumbling with the past three semesters of my cursed higher education, GroupMe for some reason has been the default means of communication. So I felt it was necessary to expand upon its features by playing around with their public-facing API. More specifically, I wanted a way to archive and index messages sent within a GroupMe chat as I'd been in a group chat before that had been deleted by the owner and I subsequently lost all the useful information that was in it. GroupMe is one of those rare platforms that hasn't completely neutered its API. You don't need to send in a photo ID with a blood sample just to get an authorization token. And it has an insanely high daily request limit. It also appears the API has not been updated in over a decade, which is actually great. This means whatever open source tools people have built in the past likely still work and I can steal design patterns whenever I run into similar issues with the API. And I found exactly that with the project GroupMe Tools, which was started in 2013 by this guy. GroupMe Tools was a command line application that interacted with the GroupMe API. It allowed users to archive group chats and run various types of analysis on the data received from the API. Most of the changes I made to this repository are cosmetic print statements, replacing depreciated libraries, and some hacky regular expressions to fix JSON formatting. The file groupmefetch.py will archive an entire group chat history into a JSON file. It gets around the 50 message per request limit somehow. The file htmltranscript.py will turn the JSON file returned by groupmefetch.py into a directory with an index.html. Simpletranscript.py will do something similar, except it's just a text file with names, messages, and timestamps. I have no idea what newestid.py does. I added avatarfetch.py, which downloads the avatars of every user in the group chat. The assets and graph directories provide styling for generating the HTML files and it appears the devs gave up on whatever was going on in the stat directory. Most API-based applications die because the maintainers of the API changed something. Tom Scott has an excellent video on this. This project died because the maintainer did not want to update to Python 3. I'm aware Microsoft owns GroupMe, and they've recently made statements about wanting to expand upon its features. So putting any sort of effort into uh, building an application upon this API is kind of a, a futile endeavor, but I did feel like it was a good way for me to expand my skills as a developer and dip my toes into working on open source projects. The link to the GitHub for this project is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.